Welcome back to the Rusty Max channel everybody and welcome to my year 9 series on number. This is a brand new series I'm doing for year 9s. Uh, make sure you're following along. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe below. There's loads of other content I've got on the channel. So have a browse around specifically in the playlist section where you can see everything that I have been up to. But anyway, in this brand new series, um, I have already covered all the algebra stuff. You can see some of the stuff over here that I've done on algebra. Now we're coming off that for the minute and we are going into number. This is my new curriculum that we're going through for number. So welcome. Now, we're going to order some numbers in standard form. And if you have not seen the last video on that, click on the pop up banner up there and go and watch my video on how to write numbers in standard form. Anyway, without further ado, let's go and order some numbers in standard form. We're going to order the numbers in ascending order rather than descending order. And it's important that you understand what the numbers mean. Now, before I get ordering, I'm going to just draw your attention to the index or the powers. Let's have a look at those because I'm not going to turn these into whole numbers. So look at these powers here. And the powers normally give you a clue of the order it should go. So, for example, this number here would be the smallest number because it's got many zeros before you actually hit that three. So that's why I would start with this number here. So look at the powers. I'll put little numbers above them. So this is going to be my first number here. Look at the powers again. You're going, you're going to use your powers from smallest to biggest. Oh, this is going to be the next one here because negative two is bigger than negative five. So therefore, that's going to be my next one. Um, the next one that we will look at now, looking at the powers, oh, I'm going to have this power of a two here. That's going to be the next biggest power. So that's going to be the third number and then the fourth number and the fifth number. So that's going to be the fourth number and the fifth number. So you can put these in order just by looking at the powers. Now let's write those down real quick so that we have them, uh, we can see them in order. Okay, so there they are in order. Now in ascending order, I probably should keep mentioning that word because you've got to get used to seeing that word. Now, what if you didn't know how to do this? What if the powers are a little bit tricky and you had some issues with it? Then what you'll have to do, and this is a long and laborsome way, is that you'll have to change them into ordinary numbers first. If you don't know how to change it into ordinary numbers, click on the pop out banner at the top there and go and have a look at that video. So the first thing I will do, seven times 10 to the power minus two means that I need to move the number two places that way. So this number is actually 0 0.07. And then 3.2 times 10 to the two means move it two places that way. So that's going to be 320. And then the next one, this is times 10 to the four. So move it one, two, three, four. So that's going to be 41,000. And then always double check, one, two, three, four, that's fine. And then this one, I need to move it this way, five places, one, two, three, four, five, like that. So this is going to be 0 0.00003 eight one i often like checking one two three four five yeah i got that right and then last of all this is going to be five thousand oh need to select a pen five thousand six hundred now it's really easy for you to see which would be the biggest to the smallest number clearly many decimal places um down here means that this is the smallest number then you've got the second smallest, and then you go up from there. All right, that's the long way of doing it. I would just look at the powers and work it out that way. All right. Hope you the fact that you're actually seeing me again, it means that you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you for making it this far and watching the video all the way to the end. Now, since you're already here, go ahead and subscribe below if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload as they come out. Comments are always welcome. Let's get some engagement, guys. Put some comments down below. Talk to each other. We can actually have a debate about some of the stuff that I've put on there. Okay? That would be really, really welcome. Anyway, until I see you on the next one, though, peace.